ever wanted to own a zoo? Well, in some ways we do. Caversham Wildlife Park, 25 minutes to the north of Perth CBD, is funded solely by visitors like you and I. Let's find out how the cost of an entry ticket makes this place tick over. 2,000 animals call Caversham home. Some are big, some are tiny. There is the ridiculously cute and the super friendly. Regardless of their size or shape, they all have the same basic needs. Number one being food. This is the kitchen at Caversham. More than 100 kilos of food is prepared in here every day from meat, milk, there's fruit and veggies, there's grains. It's kind of messy and it's kind of smelly and I kind of wish I'd brought a clothes peg for my nose. In charge of operations here is Deb, whose family set up the park. I think she's been here that long, she's perhaps become immune to the aromas, especially of these. Deb, what are these that you've got me getting out? They're the delicious pilchards for the penguins. <laughs> How do you know they're delicious? I tried one. <laughs> no, You're is. welcome to try one. All right, so you feed these to the penguins each Absolutely, day? Absolutely, yeah. We go through about five kilos of locally sourced fresh top quality fish every day. Wow. So do you try and mimic their darts that have a nature as, as closely as possible? Absolutely, really important. And especially for a lot of our meat eating animals, they have yeah. to have the fur, the feather and the bone. I'm not helping you make that. <laughs> I like to feed bottles to creatures. We've got lots of little animals having, yeah. having special formula at the moment. How do you know what to feed each animal? A lot of our species, their diets are signed off by a zoological dietitian. They're quite specialised diets. So there are a couple of signs that let Deb and the team know the animals are getting the right type and amount of nutrition. And a healthy weight is one. How do you weigh a wombat? I'm so glad you asked. Little ones like Jessie are quite easy. They're quite happy to sit on the scale for you. But um, when you're talking about the adults, the 35 kilo wombats, that's a lot trickier. You must hold them. You've got to stand nice and still and while the wombat's wiggling and try and get a weight that way. The echidnas, probably the chair, one of the trickiest ones. They're quite spiky, obviously, and they dig themselves into the ground. Yeah. So you've got to pull them up with heavy gloves and put them in a bucket. A bucket? <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> so you use bucket, anything else besides buckets? Oh, we have lots of different methods. We've got um, a special made perch that fits on the scales of some of our birds. Uh, and some of our little animals, the joeys and things, just go into a bag. Feeding and weighing 2,000 animals not a job for the faint-hearted. They have a really good volunteering program here, so if you want to get involved, just give Deb a call. In the meantime, I'm very glad they also have a cafe for creatures of the two-legged variety. And no, I'm not going to weigh myself after I have lunch.